Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessings and peace and love to all of you. Welcome to my channel, Laura's Lupus. Hi, my name is Laura. And I created this channel to talk about all things lupus. And so I just wanted to pop in today and I just wanted to wish you all um, blessings and peace. And I pray, you know, God's love upon you. And I pray that whatever you put your hand to do today, whatever it is that you need to do for today, I pray that God's grace will be sufficient enough to help you accomplish whatever endeavor you may set your hands to do. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about being lupus strong. There's a hashtag um, that's out that says lupus strong, and, and I love that hashtag. Um, I just wanted to encourage you guys to stay strong, to walk in your power, and to stay encouraged. As I said in a previous video, lupus warriors are some of the strongest people that I know. And one thing that I've realized that we are able to bloom in adversity. Come what may, we always make it through it. We always bloom in adversity. And I don't think this is by happenstance. I don't think it's by mistake. I think sometimes there are certain people that are called and created and their purpose is to encourage others to show other people that you can bloom in adversity. And so when I think about blooming in adversity, I think about the lotus flower. The lotus flower does not bloom in, you know, the regular sunshine and the mixture of sunshine and rain. It blooms in adversity. It is the strongest because the conditions in which it blooms are very hard conditions. It is conditions in which your average flower could not bloom in. For example, you know, um, there are roses, uh, lilies, uh, chrysanthemums, begonias, petunias, rose of Sharon's. There are all kinds of, of flowers, too many for me to name. But only the lotus flower can bloom in adversity. You know, uh, it blooms where there's mud, uh, where there are animals that can come and, and um, you know, pluck at its roots. You know, it blooms where it's stormy, windy. It's still able to bloom. And so I think that lupus warriors are like that lotus flower. You know, we are able to bloom in the most adverse conditions. We are able to stay strong in the most adverse conditions. That's how we become lupus strong. That's why we call ourselves lupus warriors or lupus survivors. But I came to tell you, you are more than a survivor. Like that lotus flower, you were created to not only survive, but to thrive. And the good part about it, you were created to thrive in adversity. So come what may today, whatever you're facing today, you were created to do more than survive. You were created to thrive. And remember, we are lupus strong. And, as I always say at the end of every video, there is life after lupus. There is life after lupus. So, the sun may come, the rain may come, the wind may come. But, like that lotus flowers, you bloom the best in adverse conditions. You bloom the best. Yeah, yikes. There's always some kind of bug on me. It was a big spider crawling on me. But anyway, you bloom the best in adverse conditions. So I want to encourage you today. Keep on blooming. Keep on being lupus strong. Keep on living life after lupus. 
you got this. And so take care, be blessed, blessings, peace, and grace sufficient enough for today. May it be upon you. And may all good things, may all good things come to you. And may you have all the love that your heart and your hands can hold. Because you know what? You deserve it. We are Lupus Warriors. We are Lupus Strong. And we're going to get through it. Whatever it is today, you will make it through it. All right. Take care. Bye for now. And I'll see you on the next video.